and welcome to Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy for the 7 day Let's Play channel. Sorry I forgot the name of the channel wrong. But anyway, um, let me turn the sound down on the TV, I might as well pick up on the mic. Okay, so yeah, I'm doing this for the 7 day LP challenge. This I will be uploading on Saturdays, as you may have seen on the channel. And I, I see, as you may have seen already, I'm doing Jack and Daxter the Precursor Legacy for Chris Star. And um, yeah, I'll be uploading every Saturday. I don't know if I'll upload it or or um, the owner of the channel will upload it, um, which is Random Blastoid. Uh, I say you pronounce your name. Uh, real name is Louise. I think it is. Must be because her name's on a Twitter on Skype. I think I don't know. Anyway, um, I'll be uploading on Saturdays, and there'll be various people like. Eat, there's seven, obviously there's seven days in a week, and each person has got one day they they upload a video. They don't film the video, they don't record the video, and then upload it the same day. They can record it whenever, but they upload it on a certain day. So like, someone on Monday, someone on Tuesday, up until Saturday, I'm on Saturday, someone on Sunday, there we go, and all that, yeah. So, you should get it, yeah. So, you won't be getting like this all the time, only on Saturdays from me but you'll be getting video loads of videos from the seven day channel seven day LP channel but you just won't be getting Jack and Daxter anyway right there is a big long cutscene no uh, so before we start the big long cutscene and I mean it's a big long cutscene um, just to say yeah um, thanks for letting me um, be a part of this channel um, I'm gonna very enjoy being on this channel and um, ho hopefully everyone else on this channel will enjoy it and um, if you're coming from my channel to watch this hello you know why you probably know my gist and crap like that how I play and how I act but if you're not from my channel then go and check out my channel it should be in the description below and um, yeah also before I start the big long cutscene I am just just to say this is nothing to do with my let's play I'm, I'm just saying I'm looking forward to random blastoid um, to doing um, bully because obviously people from my channel would know um, that I've done bully uh, I've done a bully let's play it's not exactly finished it's the the whole storylines finished I've just still got bits to do on there but I'm looking forward to seeing her do it because it's good to see someone else doing it and yeah, it's, and it's also good because it's on the same channel that I'm doing a Let's Play for, so it's always good to see someone else do a Let's Play that you've done before to see how they go at it and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And now onwards with the cutscene. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with Green careful moon. research Never seen or sensible before. thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Can 
continue your search for artifacts and Nico. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping, or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping, because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds yeah, just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. <laughs> Get in there, before I turn you both into ferns! Right, here we go with the... I don't know. But yeah, this is the, like, you could say, tutorial level, so... This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. The stupid thing is, the tutorial, I, in my opinion, the tutorial is a bit fucked up because these green little eek, uh, oh, I forgot the name of them, but the green little balls, they don't explain. These 
floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Yeah, okay. Um, they don't explain what they are till like halfway through this, which is a bit stupid because if you're first time playing this game, which I definitely am, uh, you don't know what they are, but you would have got them before they even explain explain what they are, which is stupid. If this is a tutorial, it's supposed to explain stuff to you before you use it or find it. It did for the precursor rolls. But you don't have to hit them when you do that. When I, was, when I was a little kid, I always used to thought, if you don't like hit them. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-grab zoomer. Yeah, right, um, I always used to think if you, uh, if you break all of these, like, wooden people, like, get anything extra, or, like, the game gives you extra stuff, but it doesn't. Here we go, first, uh, power set. Here we go. Okay. Sometimes you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it, hands first. Dive down on it to go and break. Hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. Yeah, um, yeah, go down as you're gonna go and smash your head open, but don't actually smash your head open, which is a bit weird. How's that going? If I remember right. Yeah. Don't know how the house will just suddenly popped out of there, out of random. Wow! That last scout fly had a power cell! I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. Stupid, they haven't even... This is Blue Eco, they haven't even explained what Blue Eco is yet. You did it before they even explained it, so it's very shit to talk. Not sh it's not a crap tutorial, it's just that's how they set it out, really. S still haven't like, explained what the green bits are. Sorry, I've got it. I've been ages since I've popped the tape, I've played this game for the game. I've been ages since I've popped the tape. Yeah, still haven't explained that yet. I'm still, like, there's been loads of people who've got this. That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. It is annoying that you can't turn the, the tutorial, you can't like skip the tutorial, because when you play it so many times you, and you want to, I don't know, say that you've played it as a child and then you end up starting Let's Play on YouTube and you want to do the Let's Play. Actually no no, you're going to want to do the tutorial for the Let's Play so that you can watch it now. No, but let's say you're, as a kid you've played it and, yeah, as a kid you've played it and you just want to, and you haven't played it for years and you want to play it again and complete it again. You don't want to go through the tutorial because you played it already, you played it when you were a kid and you probably overplayed it because you played it like four years ago. Play, which was the biggest thing I had, but when I was a kid, I never had a memory card, so I saw the tutorial. That's the main thing I used to see every time I played this game, because I never had the memory card. I was a kid, and I was never playing the game. Good enough. Tutorial should come up now. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling Blue Eco through your body. Not saying when I was a kid I never had a memory card and played and, and had a memory card when playing this. I did, just not when I first got the game. Anyway, another tutorial now should be. Right now. That's a Blue Eco vent! More content! 
concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. I'm only gonna go and do a tour on this this part. So there we can see we're running fast and we need to open this door. Funny sometimes with these little uh, little moves that they do. Good work! The blue eco caused the door to open. With blue eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have laid dormant for years. Like this, you just got to crouch and press out. Those little green balls of energy oh, on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one to increase your health. Great, a bit too late. It's, we've had several loads of boxes of them. If you haven't played the game, you'll be wondering what the hell is this. Jump once, then jump again in the air to reach even higher ledges. Fifty out of fifty. Uh, uh, precursor. Precursor off. Should be the last house if it isn't. Yes, all the fifty four seven. Yeah. Um try um Okay, I think right. Oh, what happens? Oh, I thought I was dead. God. I was like waiting for the game to like revive me. You can only go to the green sea. to the challenges that lie ahead. And then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! No, it would shake the house. Even if there was a camera out there, it wouldn't even shake the camera. It wasn't even shouting loud. It was shouting not loud, though. Anyway, as uh, end of this part, I don't want to go down there and back, uh, start another cutscene. So. Just show you what else he said. Some brave adventurers you two are. Back already and without clearing my block eco harvesters. They're on the far side of the beach, boys. Now, get moving! Again, shouldn't shake the house. All the even if there's a camera outside the house. Anyway, that's the end of this part. Um, thanks for watching. If you come from my channel, thanks for coming. If you my, my, my. Um, if you yeah, if you come from my channel, thanks for coming and watching. If you haven't come from my channel, then thanks for watching this, and be sure to check out my channel for matching plank walkthrough, belly walkthrough, and more in the future. Um, yeah, and maybe I was gonna say maybe another part in in a while, but I only upload one part a week, so yeah. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out my channel, uh, be sure to subscribe to 7 Day LP channel and my channel, and be sure to like this, um, look out for the rest of the LPers doing their videos, most most of the 
uh, Monday to Friday should be uploaded already by now. And um, look out for Sunday tomorrow, which I don't know which game and I don't know which player. I did know which player, but it's gone from my mind now. But anyway, thanks for watching and bye.